Zelensky risks political suicide in case of concessions to Russia, Kyiv Mayor Klitschko. Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said in an interview that President Volodymyr Zelensky will likely need to hold a public referendum before agreeing to any territorial compromises with Russia. The statement follows a proposal by former U.S. President Donald Trump for a peace deal between Ukraine and Russia. As Trump's victory in the November 5th presidential election becomes more likely, efforts are underway to sway him to Ukraine's side and ensure that any potential deal is favorable to Kyiv. The next few months will be very difficult for Volodymyr Zelensky. Should he continue the war with new deaths and destruction or consider a territorial compromise with Putin? Klitschko said during an interview with the Italian newspaper Corriere della Sera. How can we explain to the country that we need to give up pieces of our territory that cost the lives of thousands of our fighting heroes? Whatever move he makes, our president risks political suicide. He said that Zelensky will probably need to resort to a referendum. I don't think he can reach such painful and important agreements on his own without popular legitimization, Klitschko added. Three quarters of Ukrainians were opposed to Ukraine making territorial concessions to Russia to reach a peace deal, according to a poll published in December by the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology, a slight decrease from the 84% who said were opposed in May 2023. In the same interview, Klitschko criticized Zelensky for concentrating power in his office and said Ukraine's parliament had been rendered irrelevant. Because elections are impossible, Klitschko pushed for the creation of a national unity government to avoid having all important choices relegated only to the president's office, but expressed doubt that Zelensky would be willing to give up any power to achieve this. Klitschko and Zelensky have been at odds since the president's first year in office. The conflict has played out in repeated investigations and attempts to remove the mayor from the Kyiv city state administration. A gunman has shot dead five people in a nursing home in the Croatian town of Derover. The Index News Portal said five people died immediately, while others were wounded and still receiving medical assistance. The suspect fled the scene, but the police soon caught him in a cafe near the facility, the report said. The Croatian newspaper Jatarnji List and the N1 regional television station said the alleged shooter was a war veteran who killed his mother along with other residents and staff. The gunman ran away but was later arrested near a cafe, according to Hina. Our teams are still on site, and the priority is to provide the necessary help to everyone," the head of the regional emergency services, Nainad Merzleki, told the domestic press. Only after that will we know the exact casualties. Authorities are investigating the motive behind the attack. The N1 regional television reported that the shooter was born in 1973, that he was a former fighter from the 1991-95 war in Croatia and a relative of one of the nursing home's residents. We are appalled by the murder of five people, in the home for the elderly, Croatia's Prime Minister Andrei Plenković said in a post on social media. We express our condolences to the families of the victims and hope for the recovery of the wounded. I expect the competent authorities to determine all the circumstances of the terrible crime, Plenković said. The mayor of Derover, Demir Lenisek, told N1 that everyone was shocked by the murder. What is the cause, the trigger, it is difficult to say, that will be determined by the investigation, said Lenisek, adding that the tragedy happened in a private home where about 20 people are housed. He said that it is an excellent home. Derover is a spa town and municipality in Slavonia, with a population of about 8,500 people.